Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel and I have a cross stitch tip for you. In cross stitch, embroidery and even in quilting there's something called red work and this is a sample of what red work is or any color really and it's just a pattern that is created and you only use one shade of red or black but you can also use blue, green, pink, yellow, orange, any color you like. There's no rules in sewing and craft. So let's take a look at what the pattern looks like. So when you are buying a pattern and if you're a beginner you want to make sure it's not so overwhelming like this. This is more for someone who's done a lot of cross stitch. So for those of you who are more advanced you may want to try this. So let me show you a small sample of red work that I've done. So I just did a small pattern and instead of making a giant one and making this giant pillow, I just, I don't have time for something really big. I'm very, very busy. So, but I did want this, so I made it small and then found fabric that had the same colors in it. But this, I didn't buy this pattern. I had a book with borders in it and I went through that book and picked out things that I liked. So the very first thing that I put on here was this little, I call it a flower. I put that right in the center of my Ada cloth. Then I thumbed through the book some more and I found this. And after counting how many stitches was in this, I realized this would fit perfectly. Then I wanted just a simple border around that. So I added this, and then I did this along here. And then up in the corners, I just did little squares. So let me show you the book I worked from to do this. This is called 2001 Cross Stitch Designs, and it's by Better Homes and Gardens. I purchased it from Amazon, and I'm a Prime member, so you can get free shipping and free returns if you are a Prime member. Some of the sellers also have used ones that they might have available that you can get at a lower price. Now, I just checked today, so as of uh, the release date of this tutorial, it was $26.52. Now, that may be kind of pricey for some of you, I understand. So check out thrift stores, go to libraries, and look for books that have a lot of border patterns in it. So this book has a very large section of a variety of borders. So it was real fun and easy to put this together. So that first little flower design that's in the center, I got on page, 131. Now you'll see it has several different colors it used. I just used the one color and that was red. On page 137 you will find this one here and this went around the flower. The next larger border that I used, I just used this upper portion right in here. I did not use this so I X'd that out and I actually made this a little bit wider. So going back to page 137, I used just this part on the very outside border. Now these two corners, I just left it like a blank, almost a blank square. I left it blank at first, but it didn't look very good. So I put a tiny little square, there's four cross stitches in there, and then back stitches leading to the corners. And then I just put this little square in there. When I was done, I went out about an inch or inch and a quarter or so and cut my Ada cloth into a square. So you wanna make sure it's the same on all four sides. Then I removed the threads and I've shown you how to do that before. You just take a little straight pin, pull on the threads in the corner and then pull it across. Then I went to my sewing machine and I used red thread and did a stitch right along here. Now I have a specialty stitch on my machine which goes back and forth 
three times. So it goes back and forth, moves, back and forth, moves. And it's pretty quick. It looks like an embroidery back stitch. So if you wanted to, to attach it to a pillow fabric, you could either do it on your machine or you can use maybe a strand of, of embroidery floss and do back stitches all the way around all four edges. So this is just a basic pillow pattern. There's nothing special about this. So if you're a beginner, you're new to sewing, and you do have a sewing machine, I'm gonna leave a link below your YouTube screen in the description section on how to do a basic pillow pattern. And the link I'm referring you to is a slip cover. So you could put a pillow form inside, and when you're tired of your outside pillow fabric, you can take the pillow form out and reuse it on another project. If you are a beginner, you haven't done any cross stitch. There's gonna be another link below your YouTube screen in the description section, and it's my other cross stitch tutorials. So you could start out with a simple project like this, which is just a sachet bag. So you can just put a small uh, cross stitch design on it of your choice and then make this little bag. You don't even really need a sewing machine for it. You could do a little whip stitch on the edges, uh, the raw edges of your eight o'clock and be able to finish it off. Then if you want something just a little bit more challenging, you can make a bookmark and you can just have the fringe on all four edges. You don't need to put any fabric on it like it is here. So that's a no sew, no sewing machine finished one. Also, if you know the blanket stitch or want to learn the blanket stitch, you can also do your edges with a blanket stitch. Well, I hope you enjoyed this cross stitch tip and that you learned something new. I've also hope that I've inspired some of you to try the red work, black work, blue work, any color you want to use. Now make sure you go down and check out those links I talked about earlier. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and happy sewing. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl. This is Manny and this is Scotty. See you next time.